here at Sandy Point with I got some friends of mine this is this is just a, a, hi, for a regular hi Danny. this is a regular non non sewer plunge it's just a regular basic yes. plunge. police plunge, police police plunge. plunge. say a few words hey man come out the three po police punch and also cobra punch non pop uh, please donate some money for us and support for us especially the big okay cool Hey, what's up, Softy? Are you? I no, I don't. No. A little Burry told me I mean, something I, you that you're not. I have shorts on to keep it real. Let's keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> are you? Are you gonna keep? I don't. A little Burry told me you're not gonna keep it real tomorrow. But am I? You know what my answer is gonna be? Heck yes. Heck yes. Uh, am I gonna wear long pants tomorrow? Heck no! Whoa, 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 whoa. What are those? What the? What is she sick? She's sick. We flip flop. The photos are sick. I was sick yesterday. She's sick. Today. Okay. Oh no. I what? Know. Wait a minute. What are those? What are those? What are those? <laughs> what are those? Did you see your sign down here? No, yet. I know I be there. I know I be there. I'm, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not, I don't want to say nothing. That's it. Over, you can stand in front of you. Okay. Pull the back. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Thomas. 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 Okay. So, Stop. what do you got to say? I say, watch out for this guy. How about, no, watch out for you. No, not for me. <laughs> come on. Watch out for this guy right here. Oh, come. Because he's awesome. All right, you too. <laughs> you, you too, even though I know even though I know you may not be keeping it real, but hey. No, I'm being real. Oh, uh, are you sure? I'm, I'm, I am positive. I, I don't yeah. know. I'm, All I'm, right. I recognize that you're speaking to there. Keep it in real because you're wearing shorts. <laughs> yeah, hey. You're not. So this is the tent where you sign the where you sign in. Use these sheets to sign in to make sure you're eligible to do the plunge. Really? Your your wife doesn't believe in keeping it real. No. <laughs> I guess not. That wasn't the right answer. Uh, <laughs> For
So all the volunteers. Cornhole over there. They've got Connect Four over there. They've got free hot chocolate over here. Got my free hot cop chocolate going in. Mmm. That's really good. Really good hot chocolate. Free is always good. Free is always good. <laughs> yeah, yes, it, yeah, it is. As long as it's, unless, however, unless it's Towson meals. Don't forget to thank Wawa yeah. for the hot chocolate. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it, as long as it's not, except for Towson meals, but we won't talk about that here. <laughs> Make sure we stay out of their way because yeah. coming in big time. We're the real stars. <laughs> Busted. He's Where's your, you're, not, you're soft. You're, you're soft. No. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Here we go. This all the merch. Here you can pick up a a Special Olympics Maryland plunge tumbler. I have a drinking mug, beanies. Some powerbill plunge hoodies and sweatpants. I like this inflatable cow. I like how it says eat more chicken. Let me get a picture of you about that. Get a better shot right here of everyone participating in the plunge. Looks like they're getting ready for something. I can definitely see it. Definitely looks like something's something's uh, happening. Uh, for those of you who have been here before, you may notice it's a little bit of a different configuration. I appreciate your patience with us. Uh, when we finish the police plunge, we turn this over into four corporate suites. So. We've kind of done some presets, so we don't have the nice view overlooking the deck, but you can look out these windows, and when we conclude this program, we invite everybody to come out to the deck for our public-facing program that we're going to start at 11.30. All right, so thank you all for being here. And now I'm going to turn it over to Special Olympics Maryland athlete, Brandon McLaren. Brandon is our current law enforcement athlete, Torch Run Ambassador. Good morning, ladies and 
gentlemen, welcome to the 28th Annual Maryland State Police Polar Bear Punch. And today's Police Punch presented by Care Grand Technologies and the Maryland Share Chief of Police Association and the Maryland Sheriff's Association. My name is Brandon McLaren. I am a Special Olympic Maryland athlete from Howard County. I'll be your athlete MC today. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. There's a kickback in the speakers, right? So Brandon's hearing himself and having a hard time. So we're gonna ask for your patience and let Brandon do it without the microphone. All right, thank you. We currently have 15,588 Special Olympic Maryland athletes and unified team members. To be a year round in 27 sports. I'm currently practicing and playing with my basketball team as I will compete at our state basketball tournament on April 6th and 7th at the University of Maryland. I would like, you to, I would like to ask you to join me in welcoming our important guest. I serve as the law enforcement corporate athlete ambassador, and I'm proud that Lieutenant Colonel. Daniel C. Pickett, Chief of the Field Operations Bureau, Brown State Police, is here today. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Pickett, for your support. Carol Beatty, Secretary, Department of Disabilities, continues to be a great supporter of our athletes. Secretary Beatty, thank you for being here today. Acting Deputy, Superintendent, National Resource Police, Lieutenant Colonel Brian Ray Fred. We cannot conduct this event without the support of Rangers, Ranger Curtis Dale, Park Manager here at Sandy Point State Park. Thank you, Ranger Dale. I want to welcome Darren Popkin, who serves as the Executive Director of the Maryland Chiefs and Sheriff's Association. For your continued support of me and my fellow athletes. A, a special thank you to the President of Maryland Chiefs of Police Association, Carl Schinner, Chief of Police, La Plata Police Department. President of the Maryland Chiefs Association, Joe Gambro, who serves as the Talbert County Sheriff. Thank you for your support. I'd like to add, I would, like, I would also like to thank all the other chiefs and sheriffs, including my friend John Nesky. <laughs> Chief of Police for the Chevy Chase Village and Director of the Law Enforcement Torch Run for Special Olympics Maryland Council. Thank you all for being here and for supporting me and my fellow athletes. It's important that I recognize and thank a number of organizations that make this event happen. The Maryland Park Service for hosting all of our plunges here at Sandy Point State Park, Andrew Bernardo County Fire Department and their dives team, Maryland National Resource Police and their dive team, the Maryland State Police and their dive team, the entire law enforcement community across the state and we would also like to thank Iron Rooster for catering today's event. And finally, I would like to recognize and thank Paragon Technologies for their support as our presenting partners. I would like to invite Tim Schreiber Jr. to share a few words about why Paragon chose to invest in Special Olympic Maryland after me. And before Tim takes the mic, if you don't recognize the name Tim, it's the grandson of our founder, Eunice Kennedy Schreiber. Tim, Tim grew up volunteering for Special Olympics Montgomery County 
and in 2009, launched the Spread the Word to End the Word campaign, which has impacted millions of people worldwide over the last 14 years. Thanks, Tim, for being here. Thank you so much, Brandon. Um, and thank you all uh, for being here today. Um, I am, as Brandon said, I'm the proud grandson of the founder of Special Olympics. And one of the great privileges of being the grandson of the founder of Special Olympics is I got to grow up inside and around this movement. Um, following my grandparents and then my parents to events around the world, um, getting to see the power of law enforcement torch running, showing up by the hundreds, running torches across continents and across countries, showing up to give out awards, um, and bringing a powerful presence to, to Special Olympics World Games around the world. But for me, as Brandon mentioned, I grew up in Montgomery County. I grew up playing unified basketball at you know, gyms around Montgomery County. And for me, with my friends with and without intellectual disabilities, what I got a chance to see every time we had a big event was how much it meant to our athletes, to, to us, to the families. When one officer, two officers showed up to run the torch into the building, and that torch might have been a stick with some paper mache on top, or to give out awards. Um, the presence of law enforcement in Special Olympics has always been, my whole life I've gotten a chance to see up close how much it's meant. Because law enforcement don't show up in rooms that don't matter. And it says to our athletes, it says to our families, what is happening here matters. This is not just a nice thing for nice people in need. This is a mission and a purpose that matters. Um, and so fast forward for me, I got the chance a couple of years ago to shift my career a bit and I joined a company called Peregrine. And we build technology and try to bring into the world's best technology to state and local government and most of our work is with law enforcement. And so I've gotten the chance the last couple of years to spend a lot of time in police departments and with police officers around the country. And everywhere I go, I, get a, I, I walk in and I get to see, you know, we support Special Olympics Maryland, we support Special Olympics Texas, you know, our law enforcement torch run fundraisers on the walls. It's been an amazing way to connect. Um, the folks that I've gotten to meet, but I just want to share one quick story. Because of my involvement in both these spaces, I got a chance to attend the International Law Enforcement Torch Run Conference this past fall, and I was struck by two things. Number one, this past fall, the Law Enforcement Torch Run, after 40 years of existing, passed one billion dollars. One billion dollars raised by law enforcement officers for special interests around the world. I had no idea the scale of you all's impact on our movement. Um, the second thing I learned was from the personal stories I heard from chiefs, command staff, line officers, who spoke to me about how powerful special interests have been in their lives. One chief took me aside and said, the best thing I do for my officers' wellness is send them out to plunge with special interests. Officers taking me aside who told me that it saved their lives being involved in Special Olympics. I had no idea the impact that Special Olympics athletes had had on the lives of law enforcement. So I stand here today and just incredibly honored to stand at the intersection of these two missions. Um, we're really honored at Paragon to have the chance to be your presenting sponsor here today. Um, and um, I just want to thank you all. Thank you for coming out. Your presence as command staff really matters. Thank you for bringing your officers out here. Thank you for the incredible amount of money you've, uh, you've raised. Um, and thank you for the support you give to the mission of this organization that's near and dear to my heart. So thank you all again, uh, and looking forward to, hopefully with a few of you, jumping in this water in a, in a few minutes. Public Maryland athletes and unified teammates, thank you, Tim. Thank you all for being here. We will now proceed to the deck overlooking the beach for our ceremony of all the plungers. Anybody? Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's not cold. Any of you who have recruit classes here or anyone else you want to shout out for, just come on over to this beach state and let Dancing. us know. Again, Maryland State Police, police recruit class 157. Go get them.
so much Brandon um, and thank you all for being out here today who's ready to plunge who's ready to plunge all right I cannot wait to jump in that freezing cold water with all of you um, well I just want to say I was talking to Lieutenant Craig Alder before and I, I'm not sure everyone here knows that Special Olympics started here in Maryland. Over 50 years ago, in Rockville, Maryland, my grandmother founded Special Olympics as a camp in her backyard. And now, half a century later, 
It is an international movement of millions of athletes all around the world. And one other thing that you may not know about what you're a part of today, that just this year, after 40 years of the law enforcement Tortron existing, the law enforcement Tortron passed over one billion dollars raised for this movement. Wow, it's incredible. And one last thing, you may also not know that all around the world there are polar bear plunges and there is not one bigger than Special Olympics Maryland. So Brandon asks why we at Peregrine Technologies are supporting this. That is why, because we want to support the mission of Special Olympics, the mission of the Law Enforcement Tortron, and we are so proud to be with you here today. Five teammates and myself are jumping in with you, and we can't wait to get wet. So let's go plunge! Helicopter. Trying to get a speech here. Jeez. Oh, just kidding. With that helicopter in the background. Oh. We're trying to hear now. <laughs> Dang helicopter.
So we honor Jesse out of Super Plugs. It's only fitting that we recognize here her here today. And with a special presentation, the Chief of Police, the Hyattsville Police, I'm sorry, Plainsburg Police Department. I apologize, Chief. Has a special announcement. Thank you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. To special members of Merlin. Today I'm so honored and humbled to be before you to present a love donation from the Police Chiefs Association of Prince George's County. Prince George's County. Right, they're like a proud. Thank you so much. Look at guys in the water already. They are handing it like a champ. So stand by. Wait for those flags to go up, and we will direct you. With me here on the stage is Special Olympics athlete Keegan Zimmerman from St. Mary's County. What do you have to say, Keegan, for the Special Olympics? Party pizza bullies cheese pizza. Jim Swanson, I'm the president and CEO for Special Olympics Maryland. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Man. Let's watch us. Welcome to the corporate plunge, and I'm going to introduce you to Clarissa, who is our athlete 
MC for the afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies. And Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 28th Arrow Mailing State Police Polar Bear Punch and the 12th Arrow Corporate Punch. My name is Clive Schultz. I'm an athlete from Howard County. On behalf of the 15,588 Special Olympics Maryland athletes and UFI teammates across the state, can you go ahead and get that thank you sign? Awesome job there. On behalf of the 15,588 Special Olympics Maryland athletes and unified teammates across the state, I want to say thank you to all of you for raising funds to support our athletes like Claire. Claire is part of our Special Olympics Maryland athlete leadership team that makes public appearances to generate awareness about the power of Special Olympics to transform lives. Claire is your corporate plunge team captain this year. Let's give it up to Clara. Anything else you want to say right now, Clara? Are you all ready to play? All right. Now, we, we're going to go in the water at 3.30, so we got a little bit of time. As Clara said, we'll be back here in a little bit with Brian Neiman. guys back to the party, but before we do, I just want to acknowledge and recognize uh, the 46 area Baltimore Chick-fil-A restaurants. These guys have been great partners for us. Uh, they had fun buses that brought uh, folks down today. When you're out on the beach, look for the Chick-fil-A recycling bins. They've done a great, great job in collecting uh, leftover shoes and clothing, cleaning them up and, and refurbishing them so that they can be used by folks. So do that. Uh, they're helping to create a more inclusive Maryland in partnership with us. And then finally, we've got something new this year. It's called Plunge Pick'em. At the entrance, when you came in, there's a pickup truck with many polar bears out there. We're doing a contest to guess the number of polar bears in the pickup truck. So have a look at that. Go to plungepick'em.com or scan the QR code. Make a $10 donation. Make your guess. We'll announce a prize winner. Uh, we'll reveal the number of polar bears tomorrow at about 2.15 right here in the Ramsey Ice Lodge. You do not need to be present to win. Let's get back to the party. Let's give it up for Loose Ties. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate all your support. On a few videos before Loose Ties comes back. But once again, thank you everybody thank you. for supporting Claire and her fellow athletes. All right.